year's IWC Personality of the Year has worked in the wine trade for decades. But he got his big TV break more recently after a TV producer saw a YouTube of him delivering flawlessly to camera while sitting in a bath of red wine. He combines intelligence with wine knowledge and a natural instinct for TV communication. This year, he has fronted a new TV wine show that was entirely funded by private investors because no channel or company would commission it. They believed it was impossible to make wine on TV entertaining. That show is, of course, The Wine Show. And it is not only now in production for its second series, but has also been sold in over 100 countries. As well as developing content ideas with his co-presenters and production team, our 2017 Personality of the Year is open to interaction with members of the public about wine. Followers of his Twitter account will know that he always takes the time to reply to wine-related questions from normal humans with humour, grace and helpful guidance. A great personality opens our world and builds new connections across countries, industries and cultures. We weirdo wine fetishists in the trade should be deeply grateful for the ability of such individuals to spread the joys of wine so accessibly and charmingly. Now, we know this is a bit of a surprise for Joe, so he doesn't know he has to come up here and make a short speech. they do this it's um these guys don't believe them are actually am any good at public speaking so uh, they get you to do it off the cuff and work out how much of this is mine and how much is my producers and as you're about to find out it's almost entirely my producers um unaccustomed as i am to public speaking <laughs> honestly um i've been in the wine trade for well yeah sort of 30 years 25 years in broadcast and, and writing and I've got to tell you, this, is, this has been the post, hasn't it? Um, but thank you eventually. It's been lovely to get in eventually. 25 years in the business, 30 years. This is the most fantastic business to be in. And um, I thought when I left and worked with TV people, I would lose and leave behind the kind of relationships we have here. And I was really lucky that we didn't. They're all across there. If you have sold a little bit more wine to a policeman, a fireman, somebody who'd not really got into wine before, don't thank me. There's Russ and Ross, they're the guys who get the money. There's Melanie, she's the boss, Melanie Jaffe. If there is an award one day for the most influential person in wine, I think that she's up for it. And then we have the rest of, big round of applause for Melanie. Give her a big round of applause and tell her how much we appreciate the wine show. And there's, there's, there's our, our team there, but also there's one other very special person there, somebody many of you know as well. And I suspect somebody who'll be coming and collecting this very soon, um, Amelia Singer. Big round of applause for Amelia. Thank you very much indeed. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you. I can't help feeling that we should stop meeting like this. Um, I think this is an award which is wonderful because only, you can't enter this award, it's not, it's not shortlisted for anyone, nobody seconds you. I remember standing here two years ago waiting for someone to come in, the guy said, you're going to be starting to interview yourself in a minute, get out there. Um, it's, just, it's just such a curveball to get this award and I can't think of a living memory of anybody who deserved it more than you, Joe. What does it mean to you? Honestly, um, the way I feel right now, I am just overwhelmed. It's, it washes over me, you know. Oh. Because you don't go into doing what we do, you know, 
trying to win these things. You do it because you just love talking about wine and you love going and chatting to people, engaging. And it's amazing. I'm talking to you and you really get what it is that we go and do. And then when you know it hits home, I mean, you're going to love this. The other day I was walking past the Chinese embassy and there's a big armed copper and he says, so, excuse me, sir, can I have a word? And I was like, oh, you know, what have I done? A dog done it. You know, hit the street something. And he said, I said, yeah, what's, what's the matter, officer? And he said, no, no, you the bloke off that wine show. I said, big fan of the show, we like it very much. He's there, we're all tooled yeah, with up. The with the glass going to me. Absolutely. And that, for, that you know what, that no is, moment. that is second only to this. <laughs> but Joe, you know, you have to have a little bit of a thick skin about these things. We are acutely aware when we do what we do that there are lots of people out there that are critical of what we do. And I found it very hard early on that there's, you might have, it might be 50, it might be 30% people, haters, and 70% like us, but the 30 really get you. And it's moments like this, isn't it? It's, it's, Where you've got a room full of people who stand up and clap and go, of course it should be you. And, and Yeah, it, completely. And it's that lovely room of people who kind of get it. It's people who know you. And also people who, if you make a mistake when you're going along, they are going to say, actually, you called that wrong or the way you talked about that wasn't right. And in and amongst, I mean, sometimes we, you know, you might think we're covering things in a, and we have to make things easy and simple. And of course, the hardest thing to do is to make things easy and simple oh, when they're very, very complicated yeah. and you've got to dig in. Um, so when a room of your peers says we love what you do and we don't think that you're an idiot, then that's amazing. And it, it takes part of place by my bed just in case anyone comes in. Because have you seen how sharp that thing is? <laughs> it's incredible. Joe, it couldn't have gone to a nicer guy. Um, when I did this, I told my, my wife to stay at home because I said, uh, these are boring nights, nothing ever happens. And then she started seeing the, the, the social media feed coming in. Where's Christina? Well, it, Chris, I, I've got to tell you, Christina is at home livid because you're not going to believe this. Um, I had a general anaesthetic this morning and a fairly major piece of surgery. And I said, um, I'm really sorry, we've got this sort of last minute appointment, I can't come. And uh, everybody said, uh, we'd really, really, really like it if you could come. I was like, why are they so keen on me coming? I mean, it's the IWC. I go, all the time so um, I'm gonna go home not too late tonight and sleep off with this beside me on my bed and honestly I couldn't be happier to be interviewed about it than the big big Joe himself Joe Joe fantastic well done thank you <laughs> Enjoy the night. I will yeah, yeah.